Today I'm going to show you how to tune a ski with your Rapid Edge tuner. But before we actually do the tuning, I want to talk about appropriate breathing protection. The tuner does produce dust, very fine dust, so you need something to keep that out of your lungs. This sort of a mask with a rubbery area that fits well on your face, and it has replaceable filters, and it has a little valve in here so that when you breathe out, it comes out through the uh, separate, separate opening here uh, so the mask doesn't get pushed off your face. These come in different sizes. Go to your local paint or hardware store, see what they've got, and get something that, uh, that fits you well. Now, because I'm doing a demo, a video here, you need to hear what I'm saying and you can't hear through those masks, so I'm going to use a rudimentary dust mask. It does give some protection. And also, before I actually do the tune, we'll talk about what you have to do to prepare your ski. You want to make sure that the base is flat and free of any little nicks and things. So you're going to take a sharp scraper, pass along the ski, make sure there's no, there are no nicks. That's good there. And you also want to have your sidewall cut back very slightly from the edge so that the tuner is not having to try to remove plastic as well as steel. Uh, the tuner will cut through that, but it just makes it a much slower task. Make sure when you do cut back the sidewall, you don't cut back it, cut it back so far that you're undercutting the edge. That's it. The sidewall is important for transmitting the load from the edge through into the uh, core of the ski. Okay, so now uh, let me get my dust mask on here and get the tuner. Here is the tuner. You want to make sure that the edge angle is properly set. These are race skis, so we've got them, we've got this at three degrees because the skis are set at three degrees. You can go to two or one. Two is sometimes used for GS or for speed events, and uh, most recreational skis come from the factory. Two and they're good for that. And one, uh, you know, one for skis used in softer snow. Now when you go to do your first tuning, I would recommend you do it on an old ski. Don't do it on your best ski because you're going to want to learn how to use this tool. And I also recommend doing dry runs before you actually start running it with the motor. Now I'm going to sharpen this edge here and we're going to start up at the tip and head for the tail. So when you start up, this is the point where you want, you've want you got the, the most likelihood of, of not getting the edge perfect. So we want to make sure that when we contact the ski first, we do it with the back edge here and on a part of the ski you don't, uh, you don't uh, actually ski on. So you'll touch back there and then roll it squarely onto the edge and start moving down the ski. Now you don't want the tool tipping, so you need some gentle pressure down here to keep it balanced. And this hand over here provides the pressure that gives you the cutting and also keeps things square on the edge because you don't want it to plow, like going at an angle like this, or to trail along and drag going at an angle like that. Neither one of those will give you the finish that you're looking for, and, will, and they won't give you the exact angle you're looking for either. So you start back there, back edge first, roll on, a nice smooth pass, 10 seconds or less to go down the ski, right through and out the back. Now some tuners, have found that they like to do it on the opposite side of the ski. They're more comfortable with that. And the important thing here is you find a technique that you're comfortable with. So again, you start with the back edge first, roll it on, and then you move through. Pressure again coming down here. And be careful not to jiggle it. You can come through right through this way. Now there's other tuners that are using this, uh, this tool that find they like to push with it. So again, you're going to contact this side first, roll on, and then you push through. And some like to go left to right, so you, you find a way that you like yourself, that you're comfortable with. Now to turn the tool on, it's a slide switch, so it slides down this way, in this direction to turn it on. To turn it off, you push there. So here we go. And one more pass. And I'll do 
to the other edge, so here. Now it's important that you use a smooth pass because if you start, if you stop, if you go like unsteadily and you're going slow and then fast or stopping, you're going to overheat the edge. And you can tell when you've done your pass, you can run your hand along, feel the edge to see if there's any hot spots. And the risk of overheating the edge is the same as getting the ski too hot when you're hot waxing, you can damage the ski. So this ski now is already to go. The edge, there's a little burr, you can feel it by running your hand downwards over the edge, you can feel the burr, so you know that's all nicely sharpened. Many racers like skiing on a ski with a burr, and the burr produced by a motorized uh, tuner will last a lot longer than the one produced by hand. If you don't like skiing on a burr, you just go through the rest of the prep as you would on a, your normal prep. I, I don't like the burr, so I'm taking this off. little diamond stone here. And down the other edge as well. And I also like to break the edge a little bit. Some people use a gummy stone. Uh, I like using a 1500 to 2000 grit piece of sandpaper, fold it into a little pad, and just run that gently along. And then the other edge too. Now the skis are ready to go. What you don't want to do is be taking other taking stones like progressive stones to go along the edge to try to improve the finish. You've already got an excellent finish and taking any of it off is taking off that little hard skin that the tool put on that makes your edges last that much longer. So this is ready to race on. Have fun.